Good to see you or yeah, that you are here because we are going to start to calculate the magnitude of a vector. And as you know by now, hopefully, that uh, vectors have a magnitude, a size, and a direction. Yeah? But now we are really going to be concerned about the size, the magnitude of a vector. And let's say I have a vector A of, um, well, 3, 4. Yeah? And if I would draw that quickly, um, I hope you've seen my previous videos, by the way. Yeah, because I'm not going to explain everything anymore. That translation, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so that will be the end point. So I'm just quickly drawing my vector. And there we go. It also has a direction, of course. I started here, I finished there. And now we're going to calculate the magnitude. Yeah, so how long is it, if you like? Well, of course, I could measure that. But that is not the same as calculating or finding. Yeah? And it's also not very accurate. But how can I calculate it? Okay, and that's what I'm going to tell you now. What have you learned in the past about calculating lengths? Yeah, do you have any strategies, any yeah, any any theories of calculating lengths? Yeah, and hopefully you're telling yourself now, well, we've done some trigonometry or some some Pythagoras theorem, yeah, and we were calculating lengths. Yeah, but those lengths were always in right angle triangles. Yeah, so when you're calculating the magnitude of a vector, you are going to always or yeah, pretty much always create your own right angle triangle. Look at that, that's a 90 degree perpendicular angle over there, yeah? And then your vector is actually the hypotenuse of that triangle. Now I'm asking you, what is the length of this side? Well, that is three, isn't it? And what is the length of that side? Well, that is going to be one, two, three, four, fantastic. And this is my vector A. So when I'm asked to calculate the magnitude of my vector, I use Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now please do not confuse this a with that a, okay? Because the vector is actually the hypotenuse, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna write down the c squared there. Three squared plus four squared equals c squared, which is my vector, yeah? Nine and 16 equals c squared. So c squared equals 25. To find the magnitude of my vector, I have to square root that. My answer is five, yeah? So the magnitude of my vector is five. Now, how do we usually, um, what are the symbols? Yeah, when we're talking about magnitude, they don't really write down what is the magnitude of vector A. No, they usually have a vertical line and then the A and another vertical line. And that means the magnitude of A. And then the answer to that would be, in this particular case, five. Okay, now, how do you find the magnitude? You make a right angle triangle and you apply Pythagoras theorem and then you find the magnitude, yeah? Where this is the notation between two vertical lines, the A in this case for vector A. Do not confuse this A with that A, no, because the A is the hypotenuse in your right angle triangle and this is just one of the other sides of it. All right, see you at the next video.